know. I don't know. Um, it's been a while since I made a video yet again. Um, I always feel like, uh, I don't know, usually it happens out of just, uh, inconvenience that I don't make videos, but I usually let the fact that I don't make videos go on for uh, an extended period of time when I know I'm not being honest with myself. Like, when I know that, like, um, I'm not being, that, like, my truth, if I was you know, being completely truthful and transparent that I wouldn't be the person that I, I really try to be. So when I'm not making videos, it's because I'm more of ashamed of what I'm doing and I don't want people to see that and judge me based on the actions that I'm actually, I'm actually, um, the choices that I'm making at the time. Like, for example, um, I'm making a video now so you know that I'm not doing anything I feel I shouldn't be doing. <laughs> Which is kind of, I don't know, it's not good. I should just be transparent and just be, you know, honest and upfront. And I try to be, like, like I, I, uh, I don't know, I guess I, I was, uh, making videos when I smoked weed. And I like smoking weed, it's fun, you know, um, but I think that there's a point where it becomes, you know, you no longer are in control of it, and it, it more, uh, is in control of you, and you look for that all the time, and, um, you just become really, like, I don't know, when I first, when I don't smoke for a while, and then I smoke, it's like, smoking makes me really, uh, lucid and really vivid and, like, I, I feel like I can analyze my thoughts, like, like, in a very, um, detailed manner, but then the more you do it, the less and less control, the less, the less clear of a, of a, a view you have on your own thoughts. It starts to be, make you more aloof and more, um, just, you don't care, you don't, I mean, it's not that you don't care because you care, but it's like, you don't really, you're just like, you're lost in it, or at least that's how I get, I, I, at first it's like, you're really vivid, and then as you do it, it just, you know, kind of dissipates into a fog, and that's how it is for me, and, like, I haven't smoked in, like, a week, <laughs> Which doesn't sound like a long time, but, you know, once you get into it and you do it, like, every day or every other day, it becomes just, like, a week seems like a lot. And, like, once I get away from it, I'm fine and I can, like, I don't want it, but it's, like, when when it's there and you do it and then it's always there, it's, like, at your fingertips, you know. Um, but you know, I'm doing good, and I'm staying away from it, I'm not really, I don't really want to do it, and I don't really feel the need to do it, and it's usually around me, so it's not hard if I wanted to, I just don't. Um, another thing, I don't know, like, I don't know, I do know, um, boys, when it comes to me, like, boys are such a distraction. I mean, I like boys and I, I want to, I always, uh, looking for love in all the wrong places, which is funny, but it's really actually true. Like, I just get distracted with people because, or not people, just boys, because I want attention. And, you know, attention feels good. You want somebody to love you. You know, who doesn't want to be loved? But, I just get distracted with people I know aren't right for me. You know, you know, when you meet somebody, you know, maybe not the first day, but within a, within a good week, you know whether that person 
is right for you, you know? Like, you can feel it in your heart. And I know that sounds really cheesy, but it's true. Like, if you're around somebody for a long time and you don't, ha you know, people talk about it all the time. You don't have that connection. You don't have that, like, in you're not in sync with that person. And it doesn't take you long to figure it out. You can feel, you know, I don't want to say, like, you can feel your soul talking to you, but you can, like, you can sense it. You have that intuition about you. That's, that's, you know, when people are in love, when people, two people are really meant to be together, you, you feel it, you know, and when it's not there, it's not there. And still yet we, or I let myself become distracted by people who, you know, I meet them and it's not there and I know it's not there. And right away, my little uh, sense of, you know, my little conscious tells me, you know, no, but yeah, you know, you kind of, you weasel your way into their lives and you try to pick out the best things about that person. And I'm not saying, you know, they're bad people. I'm just saying they're not, they're not the one for me. And, you know, and usually I just become involved in their lives and trip and fall into a relationship with them or some sort of relationship with them and I get lost and then yet again I'm living you know with I'm living something that isn't really my truth and I don't like doing that and I don't like showing that to people and that's why I don't make videos when I become uh lost pretty much when I become lost I don't like showing people that you know I'm not I'm not there I'm not you know I'm not like as, as conscious as I, I feel that I can be. And I don't, I don't want to mislead people when I know I'm misleading myself. And so that's like, it's, it's hard to make constant videos when you feel like that, which is why I don't make videos constantly. And which is why I have no view <laughs> viewers or subscribers. And it's why nobody wants to watch because I don't make videos for them to watch. And I don't, uh, I don't want to be like that, you know, I really always find myself coming back to wanting to, wanting to live the way I know I can live my life, like, wanting to do things that really are impactful, and, um, I want to stand for something, and I want people to see me, and be, be inspired, or, or just, just know that, you know, in your heart, you know what to do. And I want to be like a good example of that because, you know, we all have that about us. We really do. Like, we all do. We all have it. All of us. And I know it sounds super cheesy, but it's just the truth, you know. And so, right now, I'm not smoking and I'm not in a relationship and things I could very easily, you know, put on my visors and have tunnel vision to do what I want and to live the way I want and hopefully that's where I'm going, you know. I really do get distracted and so I'm not making promises but I'm saying that I'm gonna try to make videos more. Um, I'm gonna try to make videos more and I'm gonna try to just be transparent and uh, let you guys see me. I'm not gonna edit my videos because I don't know how to do it. Well, I, I could probably figure it out, but I don't really feel like it. If you don't wanna watch my videos because they're not edited, then I don't know what to tell you. Don't watch my videos then. I mean, I'm not like a super whiz. I don't have a computer. They're just off my phone. I'm just giving you what I have to give. I'm letting you see me and really I'm just trying to, to hold myself accountable, you know? I like looking back at my videos and saying what the f what the hell you know like you were on a good track and you got yourself lost again and it helps bring me back sometimes you know um so yeah this is just me signing in and saying let's let's hopefully do this let's make videos and try yet again to um I think the last time I talked to you guys, I was working on doing my own thing with my garden and, um, um, 
you know, I, I don't remember, uh, I was, I talked to you about not going to college, and I'm still not going to college, and I don't plan on going to college, anything that I need to learn, I'm going to try to learn on my own, and anything that I can't figure out on my own, I will get a book, anything that I can't read and figure out on my own, I will find somebody, somebody will know, I'm not going to pay a ridiculous amount of money to go to school, to come in debt, and to just never, never, it's just ridiculous to me, I don't think that we should have to pay that amount of money to get an education to me learning and like thriving and like succeeding these are things that we should just they should they should just be like they should just be things that we can do that we shouldn't have to pay you know we shouldn't have to sell our souls to be able to do what we really want to do it just doesn't make sense to me to to put myself so behind by going to college to then just be running like on a treadmill to catch up to eventually you know be happy with what I'm doing and not be indebted to anybody you know and maybe that sounds ridiculous to you maybe you want to you know you'll say oh I'll make all my money but it's just I don't know it's not worth it to me and that and I get lost by myself not by myself but I mean I get lost in the environment I am in so I can only imagine how lost I could get in college and um yeah, I could find like-minded people, but I'm not the best people person, and yes, I could open myself up to those experiences. I just, I just, I'm not gonna do it, you know, and I shouldn't say I'm not gonna do it, but I just, I feel like I'm not gonna do it, and I don't really, I don't really have the, the, you know what I'm saying, I don't have the ambition to do it. I don't feel like it's something that I need to do. I can learn what I need to learn, and hopefully get myself where I, I want to be by myself. Um, so yeah, uh, last time I talked to you, I was doing my garden. Um, my garden, it's fall now. It's, um, what's the date? It's the 11th, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October. No, it's November. And, um, yeah, so my garden, my, I mean, I could still be growing things. I watch a lot of um, John Kohler with Growing Your Greens videos. He's freaking, he's awesome. That's all I have to say. That's like, he's he knows what he's talking about and he has good information to give. So if you are interested in organic gardening at all, like anything having to do with organic growing your food in any sort of way, John Kohler with Grown Your Greens. He makes his own YouTube videos. They're awesome. You should go check him out. Um, yes, anyways, he says that you sh you can always be growing something, and that is completely true. Like, I think that, you know, no matter where you live, you can be growing your own food, and I don't. I'm not growing anything right now because um, my mom mowed my garden down. She got mad at me. Well, at first, okay, I had, like, a squash garden, and she would mowed it down and I got mad at her for mowing it down for obvious reasons because like I just explained you can always be growing something and you can always be learning from your garden so she mowed it down and I got kind of pissed at her and then she got even more mad at me and mowed all of it down so that's how that went and um yeah hey I'm making a video. Oh. What are you doing? Nothing. I'm just wondering what you were doing. Yeah, I'm making a video. You want to say hi to my video? Hi. <laughs> I'm like sitting on the ground. You like my blanket? Yeah. I'm going to be cuddling up with it. Yeah. Yeah, right now I'm sharing a room with my sister because I don't have my own place still. Well, I did, but then I didn't. And now I'm I'm sharing her with my little sister. <laughs> and she's happy about it, obviously. But um, this video is getting too long anyways, so I will talk to you guys later. And um, peace out.